Hey guys, Son of Beast here. We are back for another Mamba moment, and this is the final challenge of this game. For this final challenge, it's Will to Win. This happened here on June 17, 2010. It's one of the biggest NBA Finals in Game 7. In one of the most intense defensive battles in the NBA Finals, the history of Kobe's trademark grip plus some clutch points down the stretch put the Lakers over the top and earned him his fifth and final ring. Now this is what happens now, because the other side of it is Ray Allen. So I gotta hold on to him under 15 points and get 10 rebounds if he can, because that won't be like too much to take. But in that case, this is what happens when you get a rebound, you just try to make sure you get it on tight. In the meantime, it's time for the last mission of the Mamba moment. And then pretty soon I'll be sending you up the other side of it for the Kobe Bryant to Michael Jordan challenge, right on the other side. I know that was last season, but don't worry, this will be the next one that I will try to do. In the meantime, let's get this thing going and get started. Hey guys, if you like this video, please give a moment to like the video by clicking the thumbs up button. Also hit the subscribe button so you don't miss that one out. And hit the notification icon bell so you don't miss out any of the uh, new videos and it's the best way to support for this channel. In the meantime, it's the final challenge and I hope you all enjoyed it. This will be everything to finish all at once. Enjoy the last mission of the Kobe Bryant challenge. Thank 
That's just good focus on Rondo's part. Doesn't let the contact take him out of rhythm. Only in Jacoby. Our test on the way. That's the order. Three pointer. And he's good on the free ball. I'll tell you what, it seems like they're getting quality looks on every possession. They've got a nice rhythm going and can't be stopped. And with each made basket, their confidence also continues to grow. They're surging right now, playing for one another. These teams have traded blows all series long in a matchup that has been defined by defense and physicality. The refs have been letting them play and passes have been really tough to come by. Boy, they didn't waste any time, did they? They got a coin right away. They obviously had a plan coming in, and they put it to good use. Now here's Allen. Here's the dish to Pierce. Rebounded by the Lakers. Well, in this series, Boston has averaged about 88 and a half points per game. Clark compared to LA's 92 points per game. Both teams are scoring 10 more points than their regular season averages. And Kevin, both of these teams each had top 10 defenses during the regular season, so that's why it's a tough task to score. But I tell you, they've taken it to another level in this series. We'll see which side can get the advantage here tonight. Now oh, here's Allen, after the miss from Paul Gasol, and it's Davis with the jam. If you get open, Rondo will find you. Rajon's an elite passer of the ball. Now, let's send it over to David Aldridge for an injury update on the Celtics. Thank you, Kevin. Tuesday, a difficult day for the Celtics on top of losing Game 6 to the Lakers. They also lost starting center Kendrick Perkins to injury. He tore the NCL and PCL in his right knee. That will keep him out of Game 7. His size and strength surely will be missed against the length of this Lakers team. Guys? You said it, David. Thank you. The Celtics are hoping somebody is going to step up in Perkins' absence. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. Shooting too many blanks in this one to stay close. Maybe try something different. Couldn't have heard at this point. This right now, as we're looking at Kobe Bryant's one, it, he already has his third rebound. So we're looking to get keep an eye on him just in case. And the Celtics also making a change. Scalabrini's checked in. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for Boston. A 12-point game. Top of the key, Garnett. The train. Good on the three-point shot. Garnett has that kind of range. He can make that shot from out there when given space. I like the fact that he's expanding his game. Lakers leading by nine. Farmar gets to Kobe. To the middle. Here's Gasol. Boston with the rebound. When these two teams met in the 2008 Finals, the Lakers weren't able to force a Game 7. They got embarrassed in Game 6, losing by 39 points, which is the second largest margin of victory in Finals history. But that crushing defeat in Boston is what motivated them to win it all last season. And, you know, I think they're still motivated to get their revenge, Mike. And the Lakers have one game to right the wrong. Well, that's just a heads up play. Kobe doing a really good job drawing the foul and still getting the shot off. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. At the line for Los Angeles, Kobe Bryant. to like about Bryant's game, but the X factor in my mind is his unmatched competitiveness and work rate. This guy has an inexhaustible appetite for work. Sullick's making a switch here. Allen's checked in. Oh. 
so he gets them both. Now, Kobe and Ryan are just their teammates now, Mike, but they had some battles for sure as opponents. They definitely had some chippy matchups and face-to-face -face altercations. They got into it multiple times in last year's conference semifinals where Artest was a member of the Rockets. It resulted in a few technical fouls and an injection for Artest, but they work well as teammates and have bonded through their shared competitive fire. And that's a strong defensive effort to force the miss, especially against someone of his caliber. Here's the pass to Allen. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. To get called to Salt. Smart play that time by Allen in the paint, staying with his shot and able to draw the foul as he did so. Austin shooting their first free throws here tonight. And that one falls for Allen. With Tony Allen, you get more than just a gifted defender. I mean, he's a plug-and-play guy. He can click with any lineup and fill in those gaps on the floor and always makes the unit he's with better. That one misses. The Lakers lead by six. Hey, we always hear about the Celtics' big three, Mike, but if anything, I think they're a big four. I'd be interested in your take on this. When you factor in Rajon Rondo, who's been tremendous during these playoffs. Look at his number, 16, nine assists, almost six boards and two steals. That's stuff in that stat sheet, right? He's actually averaging more points than Kevin Barnett, and just about the same as Ray Allen. And he's not even known for his scoring. Here's our test after Marshawn Rondo's bucket. Good from Gasol, one of the best post scorers in our game today. That is a high percentage look for the Lakers. Gasol has tremendous touch and feel around the rim. Rondo's shot is good. Rondo's got eight points. Hey, you can make a case that Rondo may be the best rebounding point guard over the last decade plus in the league. Really hits the boards hard and well, which leads to extra points a lot of times. Outside our test. Fires the three. The rebound by Garnett. Celtics trail by six. Here's Allen. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. You know what I respect about Allen is that he's a grinder. Nothing came easy for him. He's somebody who's always willing to accept contact on the shot. Austin shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Free throw, no good. And he hits the second from the line. Here's Kobe. He's got 12. Powell over Scalabrini, and that would have counted, but he needs a shot is off the mark this time. The basket's coming early and often in the first quarter. Los Angeles on top, leading by five. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. We are back in Los Angeles here in game seven of the NBA Finals, and ready for some second quarter action. Celtics trail by five, and in these finals, Mike, the team that has led after the first quarter has won all six of these games. In these playoffs, the first quarter winner has gone 61 and 18. And that shows the importance of setting the tone right from the jump. We'll be interested to see if that trend continues here tonight. Kobe kicks the fish. Inside. Here's Gasol. That's good. And the assist goes to Fisher. Showing some grit and toughness on the finish. I like watching Gasol overcome that kind of defense. Robinson for 
three and gets the three-pointer to fall. Robinson's got his first bucket of the game and he's on the board for three. And so Fisher will bring it up for the Lakers. They held a 12-point lead early, and it's in there. Kobe Bryant so hard to slow down. What a gifted offensive play. Celtics trail by four. Robinson left side. Allen surveying the D. The pass to Pierce. Here's Garnett. Again, the Celtics good for two. KG just looked so confident. Like the moment he had the ball, he knew that shot was dropping. Hey, Mike, since coming into the league together in 1996, Derek Fisher and Kobe Bryant have been a productive backcourt parent. Four titles together, trying to make it five. Through their trials, they've developed a strong friendship and bond on the basketball court. And there's a level of trust between them that few teammates have. Here's Pierce after Pau Gasol's bucket. Well, I tell you, that was double duty right there. He influenced the shot and then got back in the of life. And the dunk by Bryant. So explosive in the open floor. Once Bryant turns on the Jets, watch out. Here is Robinson following the bucket by the Lakers. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. They get Paul Gasol. Well, there's a reason it was way off. He got fouled. Yeah, easy whistle. For Boston, they have made two and missed two at the line tonight. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. Love the way this guy carries himself. Robinson, the smallest guy on the court most nights, but fiery. Lamar Odom has checked in for the Lakers. Rondo has checked in for Boston. Good on both. Free throw shooting had been fairly even in the first four games of this series, but in games five and six, it has been lopsided in the Lakers' favor. Exactly, Mike. The Celtics shot 23 total free throws in the last two games, while the Lakers have shot 45. And I'm sure Boston and their fans don't like to see that type of discrepancy. Here's Rondo after Pau Gasol's bucket. The try by Rondo, and that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Odo. Well, he just about got that one, but it ends up slipping out of bounds. And now you expect him to increase ball security and start playing it safe around him. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Tries again. Got it in the Laker lead. He's been cut down and gets four points with a bucket from Kevin Garnett. Hunting this shot. KG is a force on the offensive boards. So when you look at the leading scorers of these two teams, Mike, Kobe Bryant and Paul Pierce, Bryant once again has the advantage. Kobe has outscored Pierce in every game this series. The Lakers rely on his scoring to win these games. Here's Robinson and his saw. Sets it down. Great wingspan and use that time from Paul Gasol. Did a nice job affecting that shot. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Kobe Bryant really making a difference. And he looks to be in total control right now. The defense keeps failing to slow him down. The more he scores, the more confidence he gains. So I don't know what the confusion is uh, because there's two Allens. Uh, I'm not pretty entirely sure which Allen is it. Maybe it might be number 20 or it may be number 24. Well, don't get confused by that one because I know it's kind of tricky, but uh, if there's a scoring, no worries. No worries. It happens most of the time that there are so many Allens with their last name. But, um, but in that case, you may know right away from this point. Just, just try to know about them here, guys. If you can't get the, uh, what their first names are for Allens, just let them know who your first names are. That way you'll remember. Back to you, there, Kevin. Our test against Allen. 
passes to Garnett. Shot from 12, and that's good for two. Now just a two-point Los Angeles lead. You know, Mike, after falling in the second round last year, the Celtics thrilled to be back in a position to win perhaps another championship. And they feel they could have won it all last year if Garnett had been healthy. Now they've got their vocal leader back and have a chance to win their second title in three years. Now Fisher following the three-point attempt by Kobe Bryant. Even against a ran wrap tight defense like that, you still expect him to knock those down. I don't know. The defense was on him like glue. It would have been quite a bucket, even though we have seen him hit those in the past. And here's Gasol. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. That's the free fly. And Fisher for three. And that's his first three-pointer of the entire series. He was all of eight through six games. Robinson against Cole. Robinson kicks the run. Three-pointer on the way. Busted. No good that time either. Lakers lead by five. Early on, Mike, you can see that Bryant is intent on winning the rebounding battle. Ooh, Kobe has carried over his effort from game six, and that's a great sign for the Lakers. A guy with Fisher's attention to detail is going to see that opening every time and exploit it. So it's the Celtics now, following the bucket by the Lakers. It's stolen by Bryant. Now here's Kobe with a fast break opportunity. And a dunk by Oda. Nice ball move at that time by Bryant, and I don't think he gets enough credit, guys, for how good a passer he is. Robinson against Bryant. To end the run, Davis. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Davis has got his second bucket of the night. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Back to Kobe. Kobe going to work inside. If a guy gets this open, Odom won't miss him. He keeps his head up out there. Rondo looking around. Pass to Allen. Shoots the three. The Lakers with the rebound. Bryant's got five rebounds tonight. Fisher finds Odom. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. One on two left to play here in the second quarter. And that one drops. Well, Clark, a big reason for the Lakers' dominant performance in game six was their bench production. And that bench was led by Lamar Odom, their second unit accounted for 27 points. And he was a catalyst for a lot of them. And the scoring attack was balanced. The Celtics, on the other hand, only got seven points from their reserve. Now, timeout called by Boston. Kobe Bryant really making a difference. And he's getting to the rack all game. If they can't do a better job of keeping him out of the paint, they're in for a long night. There probably may not be anybody, but um, but I'm just going to make the play through go happen. If there's any of a change, make that one count. And right now he has five rebounds, so there's five more to go. So you got to hold on for this, and he's still going to keep Ryan on here. That's the thing. If there's Allen back on the court, don't worry, I will switch it. Calabrini is checked in for Garnett, and it's Pierce in for Robinson. Rondo passes to Pierce. Again, the miss by the Celtics. You know, he's taking shot after shot after shot, but still can't break out of this cold streak. At this point, it's all mental. He's in his own head, not letting the shots go naturally. And you know, they aren't showing any signs of easing up. Their offense looks superb right now. They can't get careless with the league. And so far, this hasn't been the case. Got that one up. Davis has got four points this quarter. A 300-pound wrecking ball. Big baby Davis. Hard to stop down low. Down low. Here's Gasol. Outside Bryant. Outside Odom. Over Scalabrini. They grab their own miss. Gasol kicks to our chest. They kick out to Odom. And the 
by a shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's Kobe Bryant making things happen for the Lakers. His production has been floored as he's counting 20 points and looks to be planning for more. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And a look at the beautiful L.A. skyline along with Staples Center as we get set for this decisive second half. Welcome back to the Staples Center here in Los Angeles. We're one half closer to crowning this season's NBA champion. Celtics trail by 11. These are not only the two most storied franchises in the league, they're also the two biggest rivals. Well, Kevin, they're clearly a cut above everybody else in the league. The Celtics have won 17 titles in 21 appearances to the finals, mm -hmm. while the Lakers have won 15 titles in 31 appearances. L.A. would certainly love to get a win here and move within one of Boston's all-time record. Here's Fisher following the score by Kevin Garnett. This year, the pass to Brian over Allen. And there's Kobe. That's good on the assist by Fisher. Fisher's got his fourth assist in this one. Now Pierce, still without a basket. Pass to Davis. Rejected by Gasol. Here's Bryant. Oh, and the chair by Kobe. Well, Kobe wanted to dish out some pain with that one. He put some hurt on the rack there. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Rondo with the ball. Now defended by Fisher and finished off by Davis. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Odom gets to go. Here's our test. Denied! Pierce with the block! Excellent anticipation that time by Pierce was right on top of that shot. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Gasol. Second shot opportunity. Good, and the assist goes to Bryant. Gasol's got the lead up to 13 now for the Lakers. Paul Gasol has looked very assertive, Mike, especially compared to the last time these teams met in the 2008 Finals when the Celtics' bigs were able to get the best of them. Yeah, he only averaged 14.7 points in that series. And people even labeled him soft. But it's safe to say he has ditched that label over these last two final appearances. He's put up 18 and a half points per game, 10.5 rebounds, and 2.7 blocks in six games against these Celtics. And I'll call the Celtics. They've literally been giving points away inside. I know Coach has something to say about that. And you have to address situations like this right away, or it's just going to keep happening to you. Now back to the pick and rolls, just looking over it, just to keep an eye on it. Pretty good so far for the first half. Maybe the third quarter is going to come back in now. <laughs> Allen's still on here, but he's making the changes. And so it's Pierce with it. He brings it up for the Celtics. Down by 15. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Rondo, wide open. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Odom dishes to Bryant. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. There's no backing down when it comes to Kobe. He'll take on anybody on the perimeter or in the paint. An interesting wrinkle in this year's finals is that Clark, both Phil Jackson and Doc Rivers have said there is no guarantee that they'll return to their respective teams next season. Well, you know, Kevin Rivers has said he wants to spend more time with his family. And for Phil, it comes down to health. It's just not common to see that kind of uncertainty surrounding the two coaches in the NBA Finals. And Kobe drops them both. Celtics trail by 17. 
Allen passes it to Rondo. To the middle, here's Davis, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. They get Paul Gasol. Love the focus there from Davis to play through the whistle. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Lennon Davis, taking two shots. And that one falls for Davis. What you like about Davis is the heart he plays with. He's a guy who goes all out. And he makes the first, but misses the second. Los Angeles leading by 16. Artez dishes to Bryant. Takes it to Odom. The Lakers moving the ball around. Upside Gasol over Davis. That's good from Gasol, and the assist by Fisher. Fisher's got his sixth assist on the night. The eye of the tiger, the focus and intensity on full display with Gasol. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Here's Los Angeles now. 18 points separating the teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. Now, let's hear from David Aldridge on the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. In the offseason, the Lakers lost Trevor Ariza to the Rockets. Now, he was a huge contributor in the championship run last year. He wanted more money than the Lakers were offering. As a result, L.A. essentially made a swap with the Rockets by signing Ron Artest to a three-year, $18 million deal. Ron averaged 17 points per game last season with his team, and he's embraced a smaller role here in L.A. Kevin? He has indeed, David. Great stuff, thanks. Our test Clark has done a great job of defending Paul Pierce in this series. Certainly has. I mean, he was brought here primarily for his elite defense. But that way also really needs Ron to space the floor and knock down some horrible shots. Lamar Olin terrorizing that rack with the ferocious throwdown. Celtics trail by 20. Outside, Pierce. Garnett kicks to Pierce. Back to Garnett. Good, and Pierce gets the assist. Pierce has got three assists in the game. Here's Los Angeles now. They're on a 14 to 5 run here. Gasol passes to Bujicic. Over Rondo. Bujicic's shot is off. Got some space in the mid range, but wasn't able to convert. Still, not a bad chance for him. The feet now to Pierce. Gasol pulls it in. Gasol's got nine rebounds now tonight. Between the last two finals MVPs, Pierce and Bryant, Kobe Mike has really separated himself offensively. And the Lakers need every bit of the ball. He's gotten the better of Pierce all series. And the Lakers have still managed to push it to seven games. Jordan Farma, he's checked in for Vujicic. Scalabrini, he's checked in for the Celtics. Celtics trail by 18. Two minutes and so Denver is his head up. Timeout. Celtics call timeout. Speaking of this one here, we also, I'm also doing the Celtics and the Lakers one for the rival matchups of the NBA, so. If you, want to stick, if you want me to stick around right now, I will send you some polls if you want me to do the next video after this one, because this is the last mission to do this part of the Kobe Bryant challenge. And just to let you know there, folks, if, uh, if you want me to do the uh, Lakers versus Celtics, leave me in the uh, answers yes or no questions. I'll be able to happy to help them out just to go to the community tab here on my channel. Just to do that one right away, so that way you all know. All right, let's get back into it now. Enough jibber jabbering. Back to Kevin. All right, that is the next thing. Make some noise. He kicks it to Rondo. He is stolen by Odom. Kobe with it, and Allen picks him up defensively. The shot's good. Gasol's got 14. Applaud the defensive effort. 
but the soul is savvy and is able to work through it. Outside Rondo, rejected by Gasol. Kobe is really set to tell him this one right with his rebound. You have to admire his willingness to do the dirty work. He's leading this team by example. Oldham is at his best inside, able to play through contact and still finish. Rondo passes to Garnett. It's Pierce on the way. We've got 108 left to play in the third. Garnett, right side, just four to shoot. The Celtics need to get a shot off. A new 14 for Boston. He can't get that one to fall. And here's the Lakers. They're on an 18 to 5 run. Now here's Bryant. He's coming closely. And again, it's the Lakers. Oh, their offense has really stood out. They're piling up the points and torching this defense. I like how under control they've been on offense. Keeping things simple and running their plays well. Rondo. And it's Gasol with the rebound. Gasol's got double digit rebounds now in the game. That's good for Odom on the assist by Brian Odom. Odom's got six here in this quarter. And, you know, their lead just continues to grow, and it's not just because of their offense. They're getting it done in both ends. Yeah, their defense has been stellar as well. Great work on both ends. His defensive talent, what a gift for his squad. Yeah, you see the effort, you see the range. He prides himself in his ability to shut people down. On kicks to Bryant. Shoots over Pierce. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. The three quarters of play all on the books. And this one all but over already. Lakers ahead, delivering the blowouts. And we'll return shortly. One more rebound. Let's see if Kobe Bryant can take one when we come back after this. We're back here in LA for the fourth quarter of play, and the NBA season has all come down to this. As the Celtics and Lakers try for basketball immortality. Here we go. And so Bryant will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Well, Mike, with 10 titles, Bill Jackson has already won more championships than any other coach in NBA history. And he's looking to get number 11 tonight. And don't forget, he's also got two as a player. So he could have 13 total championships by the end of the night. He's a fantastic leader who's had the luxury of coaching some of the best players of all time. To the paint. Time Kobe Cook in tonight, baby, approaching his finals high. He had 40 in game one of the finals against the Magic last year. And Boston has possession. Robinson on the wing, covered by Vujicic. Kobe Bryant has now double-digit rebounds for the second consecutive game. He's doing whatever it takes. Powell finds Bryant. Brown inside the line. That's good. And it's Kobe with the assist. Bryant's got his assist totals piling up. 11 now for him. Kobe Bryant has been relentless, Mike, on the glass. Once again, he's showing unbelievable grit. Bryant has the heart and mind of a champion. Here's Finley. Celtics passing it around. Rocket six. And Robinson wide open. He shoots. Robinson can't get that one to fall. You have to admire the heart that Bryant is playing with. He's just outworking the Celtics on the boards. The pass to Kobe. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two hit and make it. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Lakers, Kobe Bryant. First one falls for. And that will do. He finally has 10 rebounds. Now he's over the limit with 11 rebounds, the double, e, double the amount of assists and rebounds. This time, 
He's going to do the thing to go for career high. And so he hits both. Robinson with it. Oh, and they need a basket in the worst way. I think they're forcing things right now, and it's why their offense looks so pedestrian. That was an easy call on that shot. The ref should call that one 10 out of 10 times. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Boston, Nate Robinson at the line for two. That's good for Nate Robinson. Robinson hits them both. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Passes it to Powell. To the inside. Brown, the pass to Bryant. Nice deflected. Second chance shot. And he gets it to go. Bryant's got 16 here in the second half. We've become accustomed to seeing this from Kobe Bryant. That was good defense, but he's made a career out of making hard shots look easy. Now, here is Robinson. Out to the right wing. Fires for three. The Lakers with the rebound. You know, that's another low percentage shot. He's been settling throughout this game for those kinds of shots. Powell finds Bryant. Here's Benga. He's guarded by Davis. A nice shot by Benga. Offensively, Bryant is the complete package. He can find shots for himself or others. Outside, Robinson. Pass to Davis. Kujicic grabs the miss. And this is the type of shot they want. Coming up empty there. But I won't be shocked if they try to go back to this. Powell kicks to Bryant. Brown the pass to Bryant. To the middle. Wants to get it to Brown and does. Over Allen. Five on the clock. And Boston with the rebound. Davis has got four rebounds in this game. Allen passes to Robinson. Brown against Allen. Outside Robinson. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And right now, I think he's ready for this quarter to be over. I don't know if I've ever seen him this cold. Rough quarter, deep. Kobe dishes the foul. And here's Kobe from the arc. And Davis pulls it down. And Boston has possession. They can use a bucket. And Allen with the layout. High effort play by Allen against contact. Doing whatever it takes to convert. Vujicic the pass to Brown. Now Vujicic guarded by Robinson. Here's Vujicic. Inside, here's Penga. A great pass to set up the way in. How about Vujicic with the handoff? Giving it up to a more open guy. Now, here is Robinson, covered by Vujicic. Robinson misses. And so Bryant will bring it up for Los Angeles. Two here in the fourth and allows just four points. Two minutes. Here's the Celtics with the ball, trying to find a way out of this run, Mike. Yeah, looking to regain some momentum offensively. Davis on the follow. That is a Glenn Davis staple, carving out space with that ample body of his on the offensive glass. Here's Vujicic. That's it. Coming off an assist by Kobe. Vujicic has got himself on the board with three there. A really good example of just simply executing their game plan, and as a result, they're out big. And sometimes it can be challenging to maintain a big lead, but they've done a great job doing exactly this. Robinson for three. Rebounded by the Lakers. 
Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what. He's been awful ever since the second half started. Not even been a factor. Bango kicks to Kobe. To the wing right side. Fires from deep. The shot comes out. One on one fast break. Here's Finley. Defended by Bryant. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Foul. Oh, that's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Celtics. Lynn Davis. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Gasol's checked in for Los Angeles. Farmar comes in for Brown. And a change for the Celtics. Pierce is checked in for Finley. And both free throws good for Davis. The Lakers with the ball. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Pass to Vujicic. Kicks it to Farmer. In the corner, it's Bryant. Six to shoot. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Kobe has been spectacular. He now has his highest scoring total in these finals. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Feeling it out of it. Davis. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. What a night for Big Baby. Davis is zeroed in, and with the strength he has and the touch, he can overpower you and be productive. And the Lakers can just let the clock run down here. And here's Kobe. special and takes him over the top. He fought through a number of injuries on this title run and now winning his fifth NBA championship. What a journey. Good night everyone. We'll see you next time. And that's going to do. We all know that this was coming down to the wire, but this was the one to finish. All three perfect lanes. Well, I guess that's pretty much it right now. So if you enjoyed the Mamba moments, please feel free to leave yourself a comment down here below if you want me to do anything else about it. Also, you can like this video right for the Mamba moment. And I have that playlist down right here. And if you uh, haven't done it so yet, be sure to try yourself out right away for the Mamba moment. But next time what we'll be doing is the uh, Michael Jordan Challenge. And we'll do it on the other side upstairs to show you how it's done. You know, so, yep, it's going to be coming our way soon. So this is definitely a close call, I guess. So three stars are the only ones left that I missed out now. Was mission was uh, Challenge 5, 4, and 3. But everything else, it is fantastic. I mean, let me tell you this, because this was not easy enough that everybody's been doing it so far. They've done a lot of challenging, and you can't take them out at every single cost for this finishing lineup of the score. So with that being a moment, I can't believe how much this has been turning out for me, and it's, it's amazing. I mean, I can't really say how much it is by doing everybody a favor. They've done the best out of it. And you got to believe it too on your own. So, this one over here, you right, may have already expected of what's going to happen right in between this one, the Celtics, and the Slapers. 
these are the only ones that wanted to be playing up here again. With the respect of Kobe Bryant, it's all for LeBron James to keep looking for a hint. If they wanted to do something else about him, you've got to let them know. So if you want me to do this, rival, let me know why your poll votes ahead, yes or no. In the meantime, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up button. And as for being said, follow me on my social media, on X, Instagram, and TikTok, link to my about page. In the meantime, I'll see you all later for the second challenge phase for Michael Jordan. See you all again for as a while as the Kobe Bryant of the Mamba Moment Dial. See you all again next time for another game and arrival. Adios.